Thank you for joining us in my catalog today. We got Future, Metro Booming, Like That, Official Audio. But not only that, the rumor is that Kendrick went off in there. So we're super excited. So we're going to work around Future and get to Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? Just kidding. Just kidding. Future is dope, though, man. Let's do this. Gotta buy my joint up on this bitch. Sticking to the code, all these hoes for the street. Pussy niggas told ain't gon' wake up at they seat. You can't hear that switch, but you can't hear them niggas scream. Free band nigga bring the rats in. Got the shooters in the corner like the pack in. Different nigga, no, we not the same kind. You can have that look, bitch, you ain't mine. Cause you like that. All 24, you won't go as you like that. The beat is fire, though. Metro Boomin is killing yeah. on the beat. I was I was thinking the same thing, too. The beat is fire. It kind of started off, like, uh, fast, and then it just slowed down in, like, a nice little mellow, like, you know, booming. Yeah. <laughs> These niggas talking out of their neck. Don't put no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for it. Either money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say yes, a lot of goofies. What is Damn, y'all. Went hard right off the rip. Yeah. Yo. To he pull the carpet out your mouth, yo, is fire. <laughs> that, that I like that goofy line though, because it was like a like a double there, because like a lot of goofies with the check, right? So not even like talking about the money, but also like verified. Like when you when you get verified, you get a check. Yeah, but yeah, if, yeah. if this is the Drake part, because Drake just had a deal with Nike, which Nike's logo is a check, is the swoosh. Mm. So I wonder if it's like a lot of goofies. With, with, so I wonder if that's like all of those things. He's verified because Drake and J Cole have been verified for a long time. And that he just got a check with with yeah, Nike, even cash that, but yo. also the check because mm. Nike is like the swoosh. So yeah, that, that's, that's fire. fire if, if 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 that's all the stuff he's talking about in there. I like that that's line. That's fire. I like the coughing. Yeah, coughing. Yeah, that yeah. coughing out your mouth. Yeah, that that line is fire. He came in hard. Like I'm already paranoid, right? I'm paranoid for a threat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm paranoid for a threat. I'm like, okay. <laughs> He came in vicious, bro. You could tell. Even like his flow is like delivery is vicious right now. Yeah, he didn't come to play around. So yeah, yeah, he means business, man. I mean, oh, I hope them sentiments symbolic. Oh, my temperament bipolar. Time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up, but cannot be legit. No forty water. Tell him. The oh my, let's God. go. E forty be legit. Rewind that, yo. That was fire, bro. Yeah. He said you cannot be legit. That's funny, bro. Oh, yeah, no. That that be legit. Like, I've never seen somebody use the line like that. Like, I've, I've heard the be legit, like, references a lot. Like, a lot of people use that. But not like that. Not with the not, not with E40 okay. and then using the click so in there. That That's towards, for sure, that's towards J. Cole and, and Drake. Uh, they're trying I to say, like, you know, the first person shooter? Like, like they're the click now? And they just went yeah. on tour together? Mmm. You're clicking up, but you yeah, cannot yeah, be, yeah. be. What is it? You can't be legit. But the click is a Bay Area group with E40 and be legit, and a, a bunch of other. I think two or another guy in it. Yeah, so this, I think like, there's four, four of them. You clicking up, but that can't be legit. Forty water, yo, that's fire, mm. bro. Yeah, that's no, fire, no forty bro. water, right? He said no, no, yo, 40, no water. forty water. Yeah, that's yeah, fire, you got bro. no forty water in him, right? So no E40, you can't have the click without E40. That's dope, that's bro. Fire, yo, super. Man. Damn, yo, he's vicious, bro. Yeah, violence. That, that line that he said when he said, I choose violence, like he chose yeah. violence for sure. Man, his flow in this too is insane. It was super insane, bro. bro this should have just been his song. Yeah, get up with me. Fuck sneak this. The first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap. It's Melly Mel if I had to. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's pop. Mm. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre DK. Damn. <laughs> Uh, wow <laughs> i'll even diss melly mail if i have to right <laughs> there you go, a little eminem shout out that first person to shoot him. so like that was like the clear of like he definitely talking about jake and j cole now now there's like no way around it right he literally mentioned first person shooter yo you know what's mad crazy yo why is he gonna burn the tattoos though is, is there something to it i know what was watching uh sons i know those biker gangs if you get kicked out the game they'll burn that like take the off flag you. off yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it's like gang shit right like maybe nah, yeah. not yeah and you know kendrick yeah. martin knows all that gang shit he's from, yeah. from los angeles he's around it you know? <laughs> for sure yeah that might, that even might be playing off of the, the, the click thing right yo lost too many soldiers not to play it safe what mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. that that under 3k though is fire he said walking yeah. around with a stick but he's yeah, talking about you know because andre just came out with the flute album 
So yeah. that's the stick that you're talking about? But oh, also the stick too. No, yeah. So you're talking about the stick like a gun, right? Like yeah. I, I walk around with that stick, but he's like, it ain't Andre 3K. So it's not a flute. I ain't walking around here with no <laughs> flute stick. It's a different type of stick. Yeah, that was fire. Yeah. That is fire. I, I forgot about the flute. So that's a fire ass bar now. Think about yeah. it. Yeah, that is a fire ass bar. <laughs> yeah. New blue sun. Got won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, Ooh. I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince outlive my jack. Nigga, oh, 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 I think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. PTSD. Mother of the big three is just big me. I love that, yo. That was the J. That's the J. Cole part for sure because J. Cole literally said that in his verse for a first person shooter, right? That it's the big three. It's, it's a K. Dot Kendrick or me. Yeah. Right? And that so it's like people walking around like with the big three. Like he's like, yeah. no, it ain't no big three. It's just big me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang. Way to wait to yeah. use his own verse against him, bro. Yo, he won no peace. Yeah, rebuttal, yo, it's crazy. nice. Yeah, because I, like I love rebuttal rap. Like that's why Eminem, I think, killed MGK because it, it was a rebuttal. The whole fucking song was yeah, a the whole thing, right? Like Christ, Lorio, this dude answered everything you said in that rap, yo. Like he rebuttaled the fuck out of you, and you can't. Can beat we that. talk about this? Prince outlived Mike Jack. <laughs> like, that's now? definitely towards Drake. That's definitely towards Drake. Yeah, because he just he just beat Mike Jackson's uh record for most hits. Well, right? that song that we did, he kept saying beat it like Mike Jack. Like he yeah. Yeah, because that was the Mike song. Jack. Like when that song went number one, that was the song that took him over. He's like, I'm one away for Mike Jackson. And then that song ended up and he was speaking into existence because that song ended up being number mm. one. And it literally beat Michael Jackson. Cause that was yeah, the one away. Right? I'm one away for Michael Jack, right? So beat it. Beat it. And like literally now he's like, Well, Prince outlived Mike Jack. Like literally like outlived him like was alive longer than michael jackson was and that was the biggest rival right was michael jackson and prince everybody had like their comparisons with those two kendrick was a big prince fan because he even had prince listening to his album and stuff i love prince too yo but this is yeah. the most fire line right here for all my dogs game berry that's a k right? that's that's for definitely all these nines, the you don't see pet cemetery that's fire bro yeah that's that's Stephen king that right there that was yeah. the name of the album right for all my dogs all my dogs, yeah. So literally, he's literally dogs. saying, no, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna." Uh, you got a K all with all these nines, right? So a K nine for the dogs. For yeah, all that, your dogs. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's that was a super fire, fire line. Yeah. That's Shout out to Stephen King's line. Pet Cemetery, yeah. man. Dude, I like that he put it on here that and your best work is the light pack because literally that's kind of what we were talking about. We were doing the first person shooter when we were reacting to that. We were looking at because it was we were talking about the Michael Jackson hits and Drake hits, remember? And Michael Jackson hits were like all like super crazy timeless like music. It's crazy because he's literally saying like even Prince outlived Mike Jack. He's like, yeah, but you might have like as many hits as Michael Jackson, but he's like, look at your hits versus Michael Jackson kind of thing. Because like he's saying yeah. your best work is a light pad, right? So he's not even worried about your hits. I understand exactly what he's saying because obviously when we did the comparison, Michael Jackson's are timeless and his songs are just for the moment, basically, you know? But I think that's what made Michael Jackson so big too is because there was no social media because his mystique, you didn't get to see him all the time. Mm -hmm. We see Drake everywhere all the time. But Michael Jackson, like when he came out, it was like a moment. Like everybody yeah. was like, because he lived so privately, people didn't really get to see him like that. So when you got to see him on stage and stuff like that, it was like, he's like a, like a superhero. No, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's why. I think the reason why he made so much money is because he made fucking classic music. One hundred percent. There's no right yeah, about around it. The comparison, like like you said earlier, remarkable. Like the comparison between like Drake's hits, even though he got more number one hits or whatever. I think it was number one hits, right? That's what it was. It wasn't even record sales. It was how many number one hits on the bill. Yeah, number one hit. The, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, but th that's how forgetful his songs are. So that's why it makes so much sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like he's killing them in this, you know, because Prince, like you said, Prince outlived Michael Jackson in years of living. Right. But if you compare yourself to Michael Jackson, bro, like you can't even compare yourself to Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? So he's making it a joke that he even compares himself with Michael Jackson, even though he's been on the billboards one more than Michael Jackson. I wonder you know, if that's, that's like a, an artistry thing too. I wonder if he's comparing himself to being like Prince and he's more like Michael Jackson with the hits, but Prince was more of an artist because Prince actually played guitar. Prince was like a full on artist. Like he produced, like did everything versus mm. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was just the voice. Michael and, Jackson and did a lot of the arrangements and stuff like that. But Prince like, Prince was like an artist artist. Like everybody talks about how Prince was like 
you don't get more more of an artist than prince like he did everything himself i think so and you said like he he loves prince you know what i mean like he, yeah. he looked up to him so yeah the genius in this is just like it's so crazy yo he's so intricate bro and he's hitting him with so many different metaphors in so many different double entendres triple entendres yo he's he's a monster bro his delivery is vicious i i don't know how drake is gonna come back you know because usually like i know he's you know make a hit record or whatever you know but like i don't think you can hit record this one bro they this ain't meek mills bro this this is this is I think, real no, I, 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 I feel <laughs> like if anybody's gonna say anything um Drake will say like a subliminal because that's what he's good at. He's yeah. the new Jay Z, and Cole won't probably respond at all. <laughs> I think Jay Cole. I think he's here for it. Competing wise, I, I think he might say something. I would like that to happen. Um, uh, but I'm you know, fire man. Yo, you gonna need Cole some fire Kendrick going back? I'm more excited for that than I am for the Drake subliminal because I know what Drake's gonna do. I agree with you, no Drake. I, I think he's gonna take the Jay Z route. He's gonna yeah. like subliminal him to he's like dead. Like, he's <laughs> gonna 50 cent him for like the next 10 years. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> For all your dogs getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. He gon' see Pet Cemetery, nigga. Can't be bringing dope niggas with John Slangin' powder. Walking a strip club, make it rain for three hours. Yo, when he came in at the end, I thought that was BG for a second, yo. I had to look up and see his future, yo. That's weird that like he like ended his like he did like another verse there and then just yeah, like slowly the, faded him yeah. out. Yeah. Hold on, not just a verse, the best verse. <laughs> you know, the best the verse of this, right? Yeah, the yeah. best the lines. Best yeah. Best yeah. Like, we don't want people to hear that part. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, yo, because this is the this reading it now is way better than the first two that he spit or the one he spit. The one in the yeah. hook, yeah. Yo, the hook was kind of growing on me a little bit too, man. Like, yeah, uh, that's but, future. Future has yeah. that fucking thing that he his voice is very captivating, where you want to just listen to more. I think that's why he makes so many good music, or why yeah. people like him. Because if reading it, it's 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 not that great, but he the way he does it, it sounds really good, <laughs> really yeah. good. That's why he's about. I wish would have did this on a different song, though. To be honest, like, no, I love it that Kendrick did it on this song, yo. Like he's like, I'll do it on any song, yo. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that, yeah. that's just showing like he's competitive, no matter like, what what he's in, he can make it yeah, work. Yeah, that, that, that's why I like it, yo. I, yeah. I put it on and, any and song, it, yo. And the, the the title makes sense though, because it's literally called like that. And I think Kendrick is trying to say like, no, I'm like that. Like I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm like that. <laughs> Yo, he he murdered that like obviously on so many different levels. Yeah, this one was completely directed to Drake and J Cole the whole time. He murdered this, yo. He murdered it on so many I even I levels. forgot that he even talked about the the Melly Mel line. I like that line too. Yeah, yeah like just Melly Mel if I had to. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally just like, it doesn't matter who it is. I'll go after a legend too, because like everybody was talking about how M was uh, going up the like, even though Melly Mel started it right and started talking mm -hmm. all that stuff about Eminem. Eminem, like the fact he shouldn't that have responded. responded. Yeah, yeah everybody's like, you can't go out a legend like that. Like, I like he was like, yeah. if Melly Mel says anything about me too, like, he can get it too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like it, bro. Line. Also, like that check thing. Uh, I didn't catch that oh, one. Yeah, yeah. You told me that was a fire ass line too. Um, absolutely. With the, with right. the even check even yeah, they're giving Goofies these check, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. That's a dope. Right, all these Goofies getting checked. It's a, a lot, lot of Goofies, goofies with, with a check. A check. <laughs> bro, he says, don't pull a coffin out your mouth. That's fire yeah too, that's fire yo <laughs> yeah that's fire yeah man. literally coughing yeah. and coughing right yeah, yeah that's fire damn yo he's so vicious i yo. like that he even said the last one is better right money power respect he's like i'd rather get my respect over money and power which is yeah. like another shot at drake and them right because they're making a lot of money right now he's like you guys yeah. can make all that money and have all that power you want he's like but i'd rather t take that respect yeah you know what's gonna be a good battle if uh drake's ghost rider comes in this if Drake's well, Ghost already, Rider comes in, in this, yeah, yeah so, already, already working for the, on the disc yeah. album. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. So like, maybe I take all that back. Yo, Drake is gonna come back. For no, second. I don't think Dra I don't think Drake is ready for that. I think Cole. Like, I think we might. No, no, his Ghost Rider is though. His Ghost no, Rider is. I don't, Rider is I don't think piece, he's gonna bro. lead that way because I know Cole Drake, Drake is very smart. If a lot of people don't realize, like he's smart the way he moves, like. He's gonna leave like, it alone, so keep making yeah. money and go like, yeah, I'm well, rich and you still poor he, with your respect. He only would diss you <laughs> if he knows he can beat you. Like the yeah. Pusha T, he stopped that. Like, oh damn, he told me he said something about my kid. Like, I, I can't. I, he never responded. After Let me like, continue oh, making money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing with Meek Mills. Yo, he knew he could beat Meek Mills because Meek Mills, you know, that's yeah, why he, he made two weak. of them. He made yeah. two of them back to back. Yeah, like back, he yeah. made two. Yeah, yeah. He made two pushes. Push it and push it came out and destroyed them. And he's like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I think he knows his place, yo. I think yeah. Drake is very. He's Mayweather, bro. He knows when to pick him, when not to pick him. 
Yeah, overall, I thought it was a great song, actually. It wasn't that bad. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I, obviously, Kendrick Lamar's first was monster. Like, he just... Man. Monster. You know, we'll see what happens. I'm actually here more for the J. Cole. I think that would be a, a more fun battle. I think with J. Cole and... Kendrick killed this. Like, he came he came in with a chip on his shoulder, and he, he had a mission. He, he chose violence. Like, literally, what he says in the song. He's like, I chose violence right now. And he yeah. like with these bars, like he murdered, he's murdering everybody right now. Aggressive, y'all. Super duper aggressive. They, they gotta respond, bro. Like Kendrick, because I think J. Cole will, will give it to him. I don't think J. Cole's laying down for nobody. I think J. Cole's a problem too. I guarantee you, uh, if J. Cole does make a diss song, he's gonna bring up the fact that he discovered Kendrick. I, I'm calling it now. That he can show mm. old pictures of him, like bringing that, them that's, up, like that's that. a fact too. He discovered Kendrick. He's the one that told Dre about Kendrick, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah, he's talking about that in an interview. Yeah, yeah, that would be funny, yeah, bro, right? Like, like turn around yeah. and stun him. Right? Yeah, all right, yeah, you don't have to lot. be big three. You're gonna be big. All right, let's, let's, <laughs> let's do this. Let's right? go with Big Me started at. Right? <laughs> it's crazy that J Cole discovered him, and this is what happened. You know what I mean? That's kind of crazy. So I think I mean Kendrick. I think like let's just be real though. I think Kendrick is like a like a fifty cent. I think he would have been he would have been somebody no matter what. But mm-hmm. yeah, like getting that look, right? No matter who you sign with and stuff like that, having that, that Dre look was, was huge for him, especially early in his career. Yeah. The, the beat was, yo, shout out to Metro Boomin, man. Like killed it, y'all. Like I like the beat. Um, The hook was growing on me with Future. Obviously, Kendrick, we seen what he did. He slaughtered Drake. So thank you for joining us in my catalog. We just got done listening to Future. Metro Boomin, like that, featuring Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar came in and absolutely bodied this beat, this verse, and Drake all at the same time. Yeah, he's he's incredible. So let's see. Hopefully, J. Cole might get a whiff of this. You know what I mean? Maybe throw a few jabs out there and get the fight started. You know what I mean? And uh, Drake, get your ghost riders ready. <laughs> you know, this is a real one right here. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell everybody about my catalog. Until next time. Peace. Peace. Up like Edward Scissorhand, you know the road.